Hi, Dr. Bill Crowns, Healthcare Industry Director for Microsoft Corporation in Redmond, Washington. Back at Microsoft Research today with my friend uh, and colleague, Dr. Uh, Eric Horvitz. And Eric, one of your senior researchers. Yes, I would like to introduce you to Andy Wilson. Andy Wilson is probably one of the, I'd say, is the most creative person I know at Microsoft Research in terms of his ability to take aesthetics and arts and science and bring it all together to create uh, new kinds of prototypes and artifacts that really stretch the mind and, and give us a sense of where we're heading in, heading in terms of new kinds of machinery that we can expect in the future, helping out in a variety of ways across professions. Okay, Andy, you got some cool stuff to show us, so let's get right at it. So this is a system I call uh, Play Anywhere. This is a, a projector and camera combination. The idea is to look at ways to make surfaces in the world uh, interactive. So a little bit like touch screens, but very different and a lot of new capabilities. So what I have here is a, um, a smartphone, a Microsoft uh, Windows mobile phone. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a picture with it. Let's get a picture of Laura. Let's get a picture of Laura. And uh, so we take a picture real quick. And there's Laura. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this um, phone on the surface. And the system is going to find the phone on the surface, connect to it over Bluetooth. You see this little blue, blue halo shows that it's connected. And then the pictures that I just took actually Whoa. fly out onto the surface. <laughs> Great picture. No, no, no. And then we can do some yeah. manipulations of, of the photo. And there's Laura. And um, so it's a little bit like a touch screen. And the, and the neat thing about this is that we can get uh, multiple touches, uh, multiple hands, multiple users, these kinds of things. Um, we can keep going and we can... And, and of course, since I have a healthcare bent, I have to comment that this seems like there's some really cool applications for radiology and medical imaging when we're in the reading room playing with all those big images and moving around and stuff. Great way to interact with them. Right, yeah. And here's a couple other things we can do that might be uh, relevant to the, the medical uh, field. Here's a, maybe this is an x-ray or something like this or a piece of, piece of information associated with this document can be projected onto it. This is just a regular piece of 8.5 by 11 uh, copier paper and the system finds that and then we're just projecting um, a, a simple video onto it right now, but it could be uh, any any kind of data. So the system is recognizing that we're seeing paper? That's right. And it's knowing that if I see paper, I'm to project something on it. Exactly. And right now, this is just obviously a toy example, but you can imagine that uh, you know, maybe it's pre uh, presenting some patient data or something like that. So what do you call this system? I call this Play Anywhere. Play. And, it, and it refers to... Uh, the idea that we could have a device uh, like this here is a prototype device that you can set up anywhere, like say on the, the floor or on a desk or maybe on the wall, and it just uses any available surface to do its projection and its sensing. I'm glad you didn't call it work anywhere. It right, exactly. Better. Okay. Right. Now it does something else that I've seen in so, recognizing objects. Right, so we have uh, all sorts of flexibility in using computer vision, and he, here they're, these are just little plastic pieces that have little codes on them, and of course is um, each one has a, a unique um, ID on it, and so uh, again, this is just a little toy example. But this could be, um, you know, a container of your photos, and maybe you put this down, and the photos associated with uh, your trip um, come out. Now I know I've done some work with Craig Mundy, our CTO, uh, recently, where we were using a system to recognize pills by their shape and color and help identify them that yep. could be used someday in people in compliance with medications, elderly having trouble. And so of forth. course, yeah. of course, yeah. I mean, the the beauty really of using computer vision as a sensing technique, so we're using video cameras to sense what's going on, is that it's just an, a very flexible technique, opposed to say um, RFID where you ha actually have to you know, figure out a way to put an RFID tag in each one of those pills. Here we can rely on uh, advanced pattern recognition techniques to figure out what's on the surface. So each one of these chips is just a little bit different. It's not an RFID, right? It's, re it's actually Correct. on the surface of that yeah. chip and it's, recognizing that it's, it's supposed like to associate this image with that. Right, it's more like a barcode. Got it. And then one more thing I'd like to show is um, um, you know, we're, we're, we've been thinking about uh, different ways to take advantage of the, of the fact that you have a very nice uh, gesture-based interface here. And what I'm going to do now is pop up um, Microsoft's Virtual Earth application. And with my hands, I can very easily uh, zoom in and out. Come on, you got this idea from Tom Cruise, right? <laughs> of course, yeah. Well, actually, it's, um, it's just a really nice uh, demonstration. And, uh, you know, it's the idea of being able to put your hands right on the data is just very, um, uh, very attractive. And so you just get a very nice rotation, translation, and scale. And as I zoom out and continue to zoom out, 
uh, we get more data from the server. Okay, now I know we've got one other thing we want to take a look at while we're here at Microsoft Research, and that is something called the Coffee Compass. The let's, coffee go, compass. let's go take a look at that. Okay. So we moved over from the Play Anywhere spot into Andy's office, where we're going to see one of the most compelling pieces of Microsoft Research in years. Eric? Yeah, I have to say that you know people often think that when you hear high tech, you think projectors, computers, uh, digital bits flying around, and exotic looking devices. But you know, to really influence society in a deep way, we have to come up with new approaches, new artifacts that are very much natural and part of life. And I think this could only happen in Seattle. So Andy, tell us what you got. Well, so this is a very heavy mobile device. Uh, I can open it up and basically what we have is a, an old style compass needle. And the idea is that no, wh wherever you are walking around outside, it will always point in the direction of the nearest Starbucks. Like I said, only in Seattle could this happen. <laughs> okay, so now it points to the nearest Starbucks, which we see is that away. Um, what's the technology running in the background? So what we have here right now in this prototype, and if I just take it out of this little box, is a, um, it's a, uh, basically a GPS sensor in there and a microcontroller that stores the latitude and longitude of all um, Starbucks west of the Cascades. <laughs> a uh, digital uh, compass so that basically tells where you're pointing it and then um, that's about it and so so inquiring, that inquiring minds want to know why in the world? Well the idea is to really recon reconsider the, 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 the whole mobile experience right now we're headed towards this the idea that every cell phone that you have is a, in fact a miniature computer, right? And let's let's think about um, a device that does one thing and does it really well. And so this is kind of a, a bit of a whimsical statement uh, that's sort of against the idea of a cell phone as like an all-purpose device. Got it. So, so if we can trace our kids, we can find Starbucks. Exactly. That's the idea. So, <laughs> but you know, it, it really came out of um, uh, a trip that Ram and Saren and I uh, took in Portland. Uh, not too long ago, we decided, well, we wanted to get some coffee and we didn't know which way to go. And rather than sort of whip out our, our, our Windows mobile phones and, and play with uh, mapping software and that sort of thing, what we really wanted was this device. So I'm here supposedly looking at the healthcare angle for everything, so can we think of a healthcare angle for this one? Well, you know, maybe this is like how you come home. Like this, if you're, if you're lost, maybe you have a little, you know, you're in the early onset of Alzheimer's. Or since people always have such a hard time getting to the doctor, maybe it's, where's my doctor now? Right. You know, you know Bill, I'm thinking, in a hospital, where's, the, where's that patient right now? Is he off, <laughs> off, off getting, getting a, you know, an imaging study? I can't find that patient. Point to the patient. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, Andy and Eric, thanks for joining us uh, for Microsoft Healthcare. I'm Dr. Bill Kranz. See you next time.